of South Africans have the greatest sense of humor in the world, right? We can laugh about extremely serious things, right? And um, I think that, that that was a key thing for us. I mean, I, I, my humor and Marie's humor is very much similar. It's a, bit, it's a bit dark and a bit awkward, which is how we prefer it. And I think that's what we wrote into the show. A <laughs> swing. <laughs> My name is Chamano Sebe and um, I'm playing the role of Charles. My name is Paul Bass. I am the co-creator and producer and executive producer and I also play Aldo. My name is Zane Mears and I play the role of Brigadier Davies in this exciting Netflix six-parter uh, called Ludic, which will be appearing on our Netflix screens on the 26th of August of this year. Best show ever, right? My name is Frankie, I'm executive producer and also music supervisor on Ludic, which launches on the 26th of August, yeah. 190 countries. What's the date again, Tawana? Uh, 26th of August. Sorry, here yeah. we go. So, uh, make sure we yeah. got the date right. <laughs> awesome. 2023. Awesome, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Um, Paul, I want, I want to start with you. Um, you know, Ludic is a story that gives me similar vibes to the series called Grey Donovan. Um, so I want, I want to ask you, what, what inspired you to, to create this series and did you take any inspiration from Ray Donovan? Um, I think, I think, good question. I think eventually uh, we took a bit of inspiration from Ray Donovan, but we started with the concept before Ray Donovan. So I don't think it, it was, it's maybe some of the, the flashiness of it kind of built into that Ray Donovan kind of um, um, ethos, I think that's that's the right word to use. But it, originally, it was just uh, a guy. I don't force that a part was written for him, just like the Brigadier and some others were written specifically for them. Even though I didn't know Zane, I knew he would nail it. Um, and then uh, it was just the story of a guy in Pretoria who does shady business, but he's a family guy. He cares about his family, but he's kind of ruthless in the sense that he does what he needs to do. You know, in in South Africa and Africa, it, it's just like he, need, he does what he needs to do. Which is questionable, but I think interesting. And moving on to you, Zane. Um, you know, I, I loved your character's persistency, and I want to know, in your view, like, how, how do you think a brigadier should pursue justice amidst the challenges of, you know, when you're investigating um, highly immoral individuals, and you know, we we come across things such as bribe and. They provide fake evidence, and you know they even threaten cops' families in that um, because it could be a reality. Um, so I just want to know your views on that. Yeah, it could be a reality. You know, we've uh, we've heard incidences about that, but I believe that the, the story and the characters that we portray are all fictional. Yes. You know, and even although we do touch on reality sometimes, we you know you don't want to say this is how South African police are. You never want to go there. Well, these, this is exactly how Afrikaans be. Well, maybe with Frank you could say that, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, so you, you play what's on the page, you know, you don't judge the character, you play what's on the page. And what I liked about the character was, was that it wasn't written as a black and white, easy, easy, always a good guy and that kind of stuff. No, he's got his flaws. You know, he sleeps on the couch in the office, he's got some issues at home. Uh, uh, he's having uh, something possibly with this lady at the office and, and all of that kind of stuff make this guy, he's a good guy, at the heart he's a good guy, but he's flawed, it's a flawed good, and that's really how very many people in life really are, you know, and that's what I liked about the character and that's what I enjoyed playing. Um, so for me, um, um, that also playing with the actors like Germano, uh our prison scene was lovely, I loved, you know, the other actors in the show, it's just there, even Sean, uh, Cameron Michaels like, looking at his dead body, that was an inspiration. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. you know, and yeah. also a big spoiler. Big spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is he dead though? Is he? Yeah. I doubt it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw him here earlier. <laughs> And 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 Tamano, um, like you, you're a really loyal man uh, to 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 Don Ludic, of course. And I just want to know what impact does your role have in connecting the story together? Um, well, the story is uh, connected together with so many um, life experiences mm -hmm. in the country. In, you know, we have um, almost like about two hundred thousand Zimbabweans in South Africa. So it's an interesting story for me as a South African and uh, for me as an actor. I, I relate to 
Zimbabweans within the country in Cape Town. I know a lot of them personally. And um, I'm also in a journey of learning Shona, which I find very interesting. Um, I would be so happy if I could speak Shona and uh, that uh, I would be like connecting to the 200,000 Zimbabweans if they are still available in the country <laughs> because they might soon disappear, uh, you know, the politics. So, but otherwise, um, in general, it's, um, acting is about challenges. It's like a footballer, you know, like a, you're gonna be playing with other footballers as well. You're gonna kick your, 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 your leg, you're gonna kick your, your, your ankle and, and stuff like that. So acting is like that. You get kicked along the way while you're doing whatever you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you kicked, yeah, because you know you get kicked. You know, like you get kicked. The director kicks you, or, or maybe the uh, other. I, thought, director I know comes. which director this was. I thought there was an <laughs> HR complaint. Like, yeah. 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 There's one with very little hair. I think he's the guy. No, but Charles's character is 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 crucial to the entire story. I mean, that 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 literally, like like literally, we wrote Don's character, and then we wrote Charles's character. That's how narrowly associated Charles's character it was the entire story and plot. So 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 key character, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Frankie, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big lover of you, of course, you know, on the, on the radio side of things. Um, but I, I just wanna I just wanna know, you know, did Rosen Oaks Media did did it, at any point did you guys feel any added pressure to deliver quality production um, to Netflix? Because you know, Netflix obviously has this worldwide millions of audience. No, so I, I, so firstly, I want to say that it, this whole, th I mean, it was a challenge from the get go, and the challenge we took on, um, you know, bull by the by the horns kind of stuff. Like um, the Netflix team have been incredible. Uh, they've been, I, I, I can't say enough thank you to them for their guidance on this project, um, how they've helped us. You know, we, when we approached them originally with with uh, Don Ludic and this kind of story, they were gun ho about it from the get go. They loved the scripts. They loved the idea of the characters and the people that we wanted to attach to the, you know, the, the characters, the cast, etc. And, and from the get-go, they've been so wonderful in the process. Um, you know, what I love about the Netflix platform is that, and this was from the from the beginning. They said this to us: Look, it's a global platform, but we need to tell our story at first. So this is our story for South Africa by South Africa. Um, and then we'll see how the rest of the world feels it, and I and I think that's important. That was important for us, for us, you know, um, to to tell the story in the way we want to tell it, and then people around the world will look at it and go, "That's an interesting story from South Africa about these people." You know, like that's how we sort of approach. It. Yeah. Okay. Last question, guys. Because sorry, I have to wrap. Um, Paul, this is this is for you. How did you manage to balance comedy, drama, and crime so well? So, so look, I, th I think I think South Africa's South Africans have the greatest sense of humor in the world, right? We can laugh about extremely serious things, right? And um, I think that, that that was a key thing for us. I mean, I, I, my humor and Maurice's humor is very much similar. It's a bit it's a bit dark and a bit awkward, which is how we prefer it. And I think that's what we wrote into the show. You know, a lot of scenes, as you as you'll see or saw, is. Um, it starts off serious, goes into a bit of a funny kind of joke thing and comes back to being serious. And I think, you know, kudos to the talent once again for playing those kinds of scenes. It's very difficult for an actor to go up and down in a scene and to do the blocking and, and you know, understand the staging of it and everything. So kudos to them for doing it. But it was a key element. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can tell, you can tell this sort of story without a big part of humor, you know, humor inside of it. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much. Um, loved seeing um, you guys on screen, of course, and I think the world is gonna it's gonna love Ludic. Um, thank you very much, guys. Take care. Awesome. Thank you very Thanks much. Love,